Hi guys, happy weekend, happy Friday. Right, so I know where, so I know where this video is going to. Hello YouTube, and thanks for the great comments. Gloria, God bless, God, God bless Lee. Thank you very much, Gloria. You're an angel, and very, very much appreciated. <coughs> right, I got a comment. <coughs> Start coughing now, but I've actually just done another video. But it's not going to be uploaded to YouTube. So I'm actually uploading this video to YouTube. Right, quickly. Right, guys. I got a comment last night. I managed to get an internet connection. It wasn't here. Right, so I got an internet connection. We went to Mercia. And I thought, I'll check me YouTube. So I checked my YouTube comment. Good comment. Thanks for the great comment, Paul. What? Do you know what, what it's going to cost for you to actually get get back to England? Right, I need to add it up. So I'll make this video short, then I'll add another bit onto this video. So, right, so did you actually contact the British Embassy, Paul? Well, I, I actually, I did last week. And actually, when you made that comment, I read your comment last night, which was Thursday night. I read that comment and then I actually went straight, I went straight onto the British Consulate website. So I went onto British Consulate website trying to search it and a lot of things come up and it doesn't cater, so to speak. You know, it's what, how to make uh, an appointment with the British Consulate in Manila, how to do this, how to do that. Can I can I actually process my passport if my passport's run out? How much is the price? 80, 80 English pounds for a new passport if it's out of date. So, you know, it were one thing like that and another. If you actually go on there, you can actually read what's on there. So, you know, there's a lot of good advice for people that are coming here. How, how, how long do I need a visa for? What about my visa? How much is the visa? But there was no, I'm stuck here in the Philippines. I don't have any money. I don't know how to get out of the country because I don't have the money. My passport has run out and I actually need to pay my immigration. Right, so I need these two, right. I don't have any money. Can you please help? Can you please send me a message? I couldn't get in touch. I need to get back, look on the website. And then actually, guys, there's a phone number, right? Phone this number. If you need any information on this, on this, on this, on this, not on my topic, on this, on this, on this, you can actually make uh, an appointment by phone. And I thought, well, you know, how, how the hell am I going to make uh, an appointment by phone, right? Because for a start, I don't have a phone connection, I don't have the money to put on the phone. So it's as simple as selling the motorbike, selling the house, as soon as I can do that, the plan is to pay what I actually owe and then hopefully try to fly home. And yes, I've said maybe I'll fly to Thailand and, uh, and a lot of you haters and bla blog bloggers or whatever, you know, just hateful people, you know, twisted people, you know, what don't really actually contribute, contribute or really watch the videos make your silly comments but what a great comment so yes that's actually what I did I went straight on to there I'm actually gonna have to go back on there and try and send a message can't phone the British consulate in Manila so I'm actually gonna have to try and actually you know send a message I'm gonna actually add up what I actually owe what I actually owe immigration I already know the passport cost 80 because it's on the immigration website. Right, this gimbal is actually on its way out. And this phone's quite blurred now. Right, so I hope the video comes out okay. So that's basically it. Um, I'll go back on there when I get another connection. And I'll try and send a message. If I can't send a message, I'll go 
throw it another way, try a different way. Ow, video. So I'll try and do it by a video, you know. But it's not it's not made easy, you know. Maybe if I was right, so you know, so I think I think the best thing to do guys is actually go back onto the embassy, British Embassy website and actually try and try and send some type of a even if it if if I can actually send a question an answer right but it's probably not going to be it be, it just doesn't cater there's no what happens if you're stuck in the Philippines so I'll have to go on to a crime or something's happened in the Philippines send them a message I'm just gonna have to try sending a message and like I said it's a bit dark now so, like I said, that's what I'm actually going to have to do. I'll add what I I'll add up what I owe, and then up to press up to now up to this date. Right, that's a little bit better. Up to this date, but no, no, I haven't actually got in touch with the British consulate. But I need to try. So next time, I actually need to spend time and I need to make sure I've sent at least one message and an email, one of my email addresses, so I can at least get a comment back. And, you know, I'll actually go from there, and if I don't get any joy, I just have to try and sell the bike and try and sell the house, but it's, it's not going to be easy selling the house. And then... There's another, there's another actually, an answer, what will Jovelin do? Well, Jovelin is more or less sorted out, right? So, her worries, so her worries is not so bad, right? She, her worries is not so bad, even though she's got worries. Where will I go? I've got nowhere to go. You know, I can't, so it's more or less sorted out, but we need to sell the house so she's okay right so that's about it really so without going on and on and on British Embassy I'll have to try and get back in touch then I'll make a video if I if and when I do manage to get in touch and I just have to see what happens you know see what happens because one way or another it's either swim swim to England or get a boat across to another country, you know, do some it. So I think that's really it, guys. I'll have to send, try and send, uh, just send a message. But no, it's not easy. It's not easy because the British consulate really hasn't made it easy. Now, I'm a British national, so yes, the British consulate should help me. I mean, we're, we're, we're actually bringing foreign people into England that shouldn't really be in England. We're fetching a lot of dangerous people into England. You know, we've got terrorists in England. What's being brought in? We've got people that are just screwing the system. So, you know, that don't really belong in England. And by the sounds on it, England's got crazy and there's a lot of dangerous people now in England. And we've got uproars and we've got riots in England. You know, I can't wait to get back. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so simple as that, really. Thanks for the great comments, Gloria. God bless. Thank you, Lee. God bless. You know, so that's it, guys. I'll upload this video. And simple as that, really. So, yeah, I'm actually quite bored here in the province. There's nothing to do. Can't work. Don't have any land what I can work on. So simple as that, really. Need to get back to England. Take care, God bless. And I love you haters, but thanks for the great comments, guys. To all my new and old subscribers that actually do support by watching the videos, giving me a thumbs up. Take care, God bless. Happy weekend. We'll get back in touch with the British Embassy. Embassy. I mean, embassy consulate, it's actually the embassy. Have a great day, guys.